A local business has come under fire on social media for putting up a sign that some are calling transphobic. It mentions Assistant U.S. Health Secretary Rachel Levine. The shop's owner tells Bryant Reed it's all been blown out of proportion. Customers walking in and out of Save on Beer have to go past this sign. Now it has somebody else's name on it, but just last week it said to keep your mask on if you look like Dr. Levine. Some people believe that these comments made were transphobic, but the owner of the store tells me the people with such backlash don't know the store's employees or the original intent of the sign. It, it was a joke and it's just gotten carried away. Had nothing transphobic, homophobic, any other phobics you want to call it, folks. The owner of Save on Beer in Cranberry Township is defending himself after a social media swarm of bad press. Greg Harold put up a sign outside the store saying masks aren't required inside, but under that, the sign read, if you look like Dr. Rachel Levine, then you're asked to keep it on. I have nothing against Rachel Levine as a person. It did not call out transgenders. It just said, if you look like Rachel Devine, Levine, because we've been tired of wearing masks for the last year. I spoke with some of the customers who frequent the shop on a regular basis. They told me they didn't find anything wrong with it and say the sign is in line with other humorous things Harold has done at the store. I thought it was pretty funny. I think everyone's a little too sensitive. Uh, the world's a little too serious right now. And I think uh, a little bit of humor uh, it doesn't hurt anybody. Others, though, don't find it amusing. Many people have expressed anger on Facebook and Reddit, saying the store employs transphobics and bigots. Some are even vowing to never return. But even with the backlash, Harold doubled down on his sign and is unapologetic. So you can't please everybody all the time, and I'm not going to please everybody all the time. And I'm, I said, sorry that I used Rachel Levine. It had nothing against transgenders, but I said it, and I will not retract it. The owner tells me he doesn't think he'll lose any customers from this, and he also tells me that he's not transphobic and believes that everybody, no matter their gender, deserves equal rights. In Cranberry Township, I'm Brian Reed, KDKA News.